All right, welcome back. In the last video, we were talking about watershed shapes. We had the elliptical <clears throat> and the circular one. And in watershed shape, when we study watershed shapes, there's two things we can calculate. Uh, one is the shape factor, and one is the elongation ratio. And they both tell us something pretty neat about watersheds. All right, so first one is the shape factor. The shape factor. Okay, the shape factor is calculated L sub little l is equal to L times LCA all raised to the point zero 0.03. All right. We know what L is. That's the watershed length, right? The distance from the outlet um, to the highest elevation along the main channel. But LCA is something we haven't learned yet. LCA is the distance along the main channel up to the centroid of the watershed and it's the distance from that that point well actually let me just draw it out for you it's probably easier to explain it uh, using a picture so let's let's say we had this watershed and the centroid you found using some software program was right here right in the middle that's the centroid okay if I were to draw a line from that centroid perpendicular to the main channel, so what I mean by that is right here, right here. So this this line is perpendicular to this this channel or this uh, this little river that we we observed, right? If I were to draw a line um, from from the centroid of that watershed uh, perpendicular to the main channel then the distance along the main channel from the outlet from here from the outlet from the outlet all the way up to that intersection right here that distance right here this distance in purple is LCA this is LCA all right and it should be in the same units if you're using feet use feet if you're using miles use miles okay so now we know what L is, we know what LCA is. We multiply those two numbers together, we multiply it by, or we raise it to the 0.3 power, and we get our shape factor, okay? Now, what's cool about the shape factor is that the, the shape factor, the, the lower the shape factor, the higher the peak discharge, the flow rate, the higher the peak discharge. And if the, the, the higher the shape factor, the lower the peak flow rate, right? Or peak discharge, okay? That's, those are some pretty neat things. Um, the second uh, thing we can calculate is the E long, oops, E long gation ratio, okay? The elongation ratio is RE. Um, don't confuse this with the Reynolds numbers when you're studying uh, fluids or hydraulics. RE stands for elongation ratio. Why they didn't do the R or ER first, I have no idea, but it's RE, elongation ratio. Okay, that's 2 over L, and remember L is the watershed length, times area, the area of the watershed, over pi, all raised to the 0 0.5. All right, that's the elongation ratio. Um, the elongation ratio will tell us um, how elliptical something or one of the watersheds is. So if I if I had a watershed that looks something like this, okay, uh, and this was the length here, this would have a elongation elongation ratio uh, less than one. If I had a water watershed that looked something like this, and this was the watershed length, um, this elongation ratio would be greater than one. All right, so these are a couple of the different things we can calculate, um, uh, different parameters we can calculate for watersheds. Um, all right.